Hello there! So it feels like yet again I'm making a video in which I attempt to explain a prolonged absence, but it's not really meaningful because I don't know that anybody is dying to know where I've been or curious or whatever, and that's not to diminish my own self-worth or my own internet presence, but just reality. Like, it's not that big of a deal that I haven't been here, but it is something that I've consciously chosen to do the past couple weeks. I've alluded to it in previous videos, but back in the beginning of February and then um, continuing on in all of February and March, I was faced with this kind of annoying, difficult, like, health medical condition, and I don't even want to chalk it up to be that serious. It was just stuff about my teeth that I never knew before, and I was basically given the ultimatum, like, get braces or have fucked up teeth, and so I had to kind of make that decision, and so I'm getting braces, and I thought that I had made peace with that, um, because I was feeling better about it, and I was like, I made my decision, I'm getting braces, like, I'm gonna be moving forward with my life, and I thought that I had made peace with this whole issue that had been presented to me in the beginning of February, but then there was just like this lingering sadness that wasn't going away, and I was numbing it, or attempting to numb it, more often with social media just by, you know, scrolling through Instagram and Tumblr and YouTube and doing all of the things that I always say don't do. So about a week ago, um, I know it was at the end of April, like a week and a half ago-ish, I consciously chose to take a break from social media. I literally took my phone, turned it off, put it in my desk drawer, and I didn't take it with me anywhere. I was like, I don't, you know, many people could just choose to not use social media or they could just delete their apps and not use them but I felt like I just needed like a complete break from my phone like I felt like you know I love my friends that I've met online and I love my friends that live in different areas but it's like it's gotten to the point where I'll be in real life around real people in my immediate town or area and I would be choosing consciously to be texting people for hours on end who don't live here and while that's good sometimes, and it's good to keep in touch with those people, it's also good to live in the moment, and it's also good to interact with and get to know the people around you. And so I felt like I was just using social media and my phone as an excuse and a reason not to do that, and I just wanted to change the pace, so I turned off my phone for over a week, and it was really, really beneficial for me. Like, I'm not gonna say that I had all of these amazing, life-changing experiences without my phone. Like, it stayed relatively the same, and I didn't really take a break from watching YouTube videos, but just not looking at numbers, and not that I was that obsessed, but like, not looking at numbers, not scrolling through Instagram, not trying to constantly be up to date on everybody's pictures and writing and posts. It's like, I could finally focus on me again. It felt as if I was using other people's lives as a distraction from my own, and instead of working through my own problems, I thought that I had gotten over this big decision, um, and then all my traveling at the end of March and beginning of April continued to um, instill in me that I had gotten over this, but I had not dealt with this problem at all, and I feel like the past week I've really been able to kind of sit back and evaluate how I truly feel about like this whole decision. I was making a choice that is going to affect the next several years of my life and that's not something that you can just deal with in like a moment's notice. It's not like, oh I made the decision, everything's better. Like, no, there are a lot of harbored feelings and resentments and in general just like craziness about things like that and yeah it's just braces but at the same time it's the impact of the braces. It's what it's doing for the next couple years of my life. Like I don't know. I know that I keep alluding to this and I haven't fully explained. I'm gonna make a video in the future explaining everything that's gone wrong with my teeth. I'll probably make that once I actually have the braces so that it makes more sense, but yeah. So what else has been going on other than taking a break from my phone? Um, I have been watching a lot of movies again. Movies have always been my preferred source of entertainment, like more than anything else, like maybe other than reading. But the thing is, is that like for so long I've been stuck in this mindset of like, I'm very aware that I have many things to do. I'm like, oh, I need to study for this biology test, I need to write this literature paper, I need to go to work, I need to take time for self-love, I need to do X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like everything in the entire world I feel like I need to be doing. And the thought of having to do all of those things keeps me from doing any of them. 
I know that's like classic procrastination. I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. But just like I would find myself consciously being like, hey, like I need to do X, Y, Z. And then instead of doing that, I would let the pressure of doing those things get to me and I would just lay in my bed watching YouTube videos and just like pretending that I have no obligations, which is great sometimes, but like it needs to be focused. So what I mean by focused avoidance of obligations is like, for me, reading a book or watching a cathartic movie or doing something that's going to enrich me or make me feel better or give me some sort of long-term happiness as opposed to just watching stupid, mindless, uh, brain cell killing YouTube video after YouTube video. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. So I've been watching so many movies um, recently and I've just like been using them as such a cathartic experience. Like it's just, oh, it's been so great getting back into that. And I've also been reading again, which is, you know, for all the time people ask me on Tumblr, like, what are your favorite books? What book is you reading? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, honestly, I'm not reading anything because I'm a lazy piece of shit. So I've recently gotten back into reading and I've been reading this book. It's called Black Ass by Agoni Barrett. Um, he's a South African author and it's like similar to Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis, except it's like a black man wakes up as a red haired, pale skinned, freckly white man. And it's super interesting and it's one big allegory for life. And I don't know, I've really, really been enjoying reading this. Um, yeah. I've also taken a break from uploading YouTube videos. For a while, I was accidentally not uploading them. Like, I would try, then I would run out of time to film, I wouldn't have ideas, blah blah blah. But again, the past week, I've consciously chosen not to make videos. I've consciously chosen, like, hey, you know, no pressure. Just, like, pretend you don't have a YouTube channel for a week. And again, I'm very aware that I'm a small creator. It's not that big of a deal. But when you're the creator of these videos, it's feels like a big deal. But this past week I've just decided to take a conscious break from it and it's been really really healthy for me and when I was thinking about how I'm gonna get back into YouTube and what's the first video I'm gonna make I was coming up with a few ideas and I was like yeah I want to do that but it feels weird if I'm not addressing where my life is at first. So if you guys have any ideas of videos that you want to see from me, like vegan food ideas or vegan bath product ideas, I don't know, I want to get back into making more vegan videos, so anything with that or self-love or just discussion topics, let's debate topics that you want to see me talk about, please let me know in the comments down below. Speaking of let's debate topics, um, I don't know if you guys remember, a few weeks ago or a month ago, I made that video on Kalel's plastic surgery. And I thought that I had made a very respectful, level-headed, calm video. And every day I'm getting like 10 to 20 new comments on that video of people just like ripping me apart for no reason. I'm just like, whoa, like, whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Um, it's gotten to the point where I don't even read them anymore, but like, I'm not the type of person who's gonna disable uh, the dislikes and like bar. I'm not gonna disable comments. Like, I'm gonna let people speak. It's the point of a Let's Debate video. But I just like wasn't expecting that, which, you know, to my dismay and, you know, accidentally that's made me not want to make like controversial videos or videos that might not please everyone, but you know, what's the point? Also, speaking of controversial videos, um, I commented on one of Freely's videos um, like a week ago or something because she like literally took someone's video and like reposted it and I commented something along the lines of why would you repost someone's entire video and monetize it and not add anything to it? Like, you should just direct people to her channel. And she responded, like, saying, like, run back to your channel! And she called me a vegan. And she called me a vegan in quotation. She was like, run back to your little vegan channel. I don't know what that means. I've been vegan for two and a half years. I, I'm pretty sure I'm vegan, not vegan, but whatever. I'm not saying that to start drama, I just thought it was really funny, like I honestly could not stop laughing. Something else that's been going on in my life, um, if you live in, well actually it's not just the United States, if you live anywhere in the world, AP exams have been going on last week and this week, and those are the exams that you can take to get exempt from college courses, um, which of course is not entirely applicable to me because I'm not going to college right away, although I may in the future, so that's one reason I took the classes and two because I like to be challenged, but yeah, AP exams have been going on. I took the AP exams for AP Biology, AP Spanish Language, and then AP English Literature. And the exams are fine. Um, I took the bio one today, and after I got home, I laid in my bed, and I shit you not, I passed out, like, the most intense sleep I've had in so long. I passed the fuck out. I was 
dead to the world for about three hours there. It was really weird and then I woke up and it was, I was very confused. And my friend Nicole explained it as um, an exam nap or something like that. I guess that's a thing, I don't know. But yeah, my AP exams are officially over as of today, Monday, May 9th, and I no longer have to take any more AP exams for the rest of my life, and that was kind of weird. I don't know. I also graduate high school in a few weeks. Um, June 13th is my actual graduation, but June 3rd is like the day I'm done. And that's really, really weird. Like, that's less than a month. This has been my whole life and I'm graduating, and I know everyone goes through this, but it's just kind of like a what the fuck moment, like, I don't know, I can't believe I'm graduating. I'm not sad, because my high school experience wasn't very pleasant. So I'm not necessarily sad about graduating, it's just like, it's literally all I've ever known. High school's all I've ever known, middle school, elementary school. The public education system is the only thing I've ever had a true experience with, and it's really weird that like, it's like, ending, I don't know. Something else that's going on, and I suppose I could make an entire video of my summer plans, but I am officially volunteering at Woodstock Fruit Festival this summer again, so if you're volunteering or want to volunteer or are attending, I will see you there! I will be there volunteering in the kitchen yet again! Your girl doing dishes for ya! You're welcome, by the way. At Woodstock Fruit Festival, people have to do your dishes and I am one of them, so you're welcome. But yeah, it's a really, really enriching experience to go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival. You meet lots of different and also like-minded people, and you bond over weird experiences, and it's just a very interesting experience, and I know that sounds kind of weird to describe it that way, but I think to each their own, and everybody has a very unique personal experience at Woodstock, and I know that last year it was a very crazy but deeply, deeply personal experience for me and uh, with my friend Caitlin, and it's just something that kind of bonded us for life, and I want all of you to experience something like that, so um, it's a pretty expensive festival to go to. If you can afford it, I highly recommend. If you can't, the volunteer applications open up in the beginning of June, I believe, so um, if you want to volunteer and you haven't before, then you should definitely apply or come or do something out of your comfort zone. Like, I'd love to hang out with you and get to know you. and yada 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 if you want to come. I'm also doing some other crazy trips this summer, like I'm doing lots of little road trips in June, nothing really in July, and then I'm going to Canada and a bunch of northern United States states, and then um, Canada as I just said, and then back down to Woodstock in August, and then some little trips at the end of this year, and then a whole month of travel next January, like things are crazy, things are changing, and that's the way life should be. Um, and of course there's the big change of getting braces. I get braces exactly one week from now. My last seven days with braceless teeth. So yeah, um, in case you're curious about how my life is going, that is how my life is going. The next three weeks um, until the last day of school on June 3rd are just gonna be spent doing like final projects in school, like we're doing a final presentation in Spanish and blah blah blah. Um, I'm gonna be going to Philadelphia next weekend and I'm gonna be going to New York on May 30th, New York City, which I'm so excited about to be back in my home, like, uh. I feel like there are a hundred other things I wanna fill you guys in on, but this video has gone on long enough and it just felt weird to continue on making like normal videos on this channel without addressing how my life has been and what's been going on, so there you go. Again, if you have any video ideas for me, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. Like, I'm struggling, guys. What do you want to see out of this channel? What is going to enrich you? What do you want? Like, let me know. Thanks for listening to me ramble. If you made it through this entire video, good job. I'm really, really proud of you. I definitely could not do it. And yeah, thanks for watching and bye!